And I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about golf games for the Sony PSP. Hot Shots Golf is amazing. It's arcade golf which means that the game is easy to pick up. And also the game isn't just for the casual gamers. It's for the hardcore fans too. The game might be easy to pick up but it's difficult to master especially in the latter tiers of the game. By completing challenges and tournaments you can unlock new characters, new courses and new costume parts. You can create a completely new character, but you can customize yours from a huge lot of presets. The controls are great too, in both games, in both Hot Shots Golf 1 and in Hot Shots Golf 2. The system might seem simplistic at first, you press X three times in the right spots and that's it, but actually you can change your view. With the shoulder buttons you can, ch you can change the clubs, you have to watch for the wind and you can even add curves to your shots. And let's get to the numbers too. As characters, you get in the first game 10 characters, 6 courses and as game modes you get stroke play, a challenge mode, training mode and putting challenge. Also the game's loading screens are fairly short, which is amazing. And as differences between Hot Shots Golf 1 and 2 in content, Hot Shots Golf 2 has the same great gameplay but has more content. In this one you get 24 characters, 12 courses and more than 300 character customization options. And in Hot Shots 2, as game modes you get a challenge mode, a stroke play option, mini games and training. As for the Tiger Woods games, I covered them in a separate video. I will leave a link in the description with the Tiger Woods video and a card, it should appear by now. In short, they are great games for golf fans, who are into realism and not into arcade golf that looks cute like Hot Shots Golf is. You encounter many pro golfers in Tiger Woods. The only significant downside to the Tiger Woods series on the PSP are the loading times, but in rest, they are pretty good games, though they do have their fair share of problems. Just watch the video, I will detail there. King of Clubs lacks depth. In the Hotshot games, even if you had the three time pressing the X button system, you could adjust lots of extra options. Here you just press X and adjust the angle a little bit and that's it. But even so, for a mini golf game, it's okay. The courses get more and more elaborate and colorful, you get multiple characters and plenty of game modes to keep you interested. You as game modes you get a career mode, a tournament mode, speed golf, practice and survival. The game lacks on that, but still, it's a very good game, having lots to offer considering that it has slightly more than 100 megabytes. But even if the controls don't have enough depth, the level designs compensate that. The game starts out boring, but if you give it time and persist on advancing, you'll encounter some amazing golf courses that make the wait worthwhile. The game has some really amazing level designs, I recommend you the game, but give it time. Its first levels are boring, but later on you will see what an amazing game it can get. Pro Stroke Golf is promising but it still doesn't get to the level of everybody's golf or tiger woods. The game has a new swing system. It's hard to master but once you get it right, you get some really nice control of everything when you swing. Unfortunately, aside the great but hard to master controls, the game is pretty lackluster. It has the same game modes like tournament and even local multiplayer, but still, it doesn't compare to the big fish, nor gets close to them. But as a standalone game, so without comparing it to Hot Shot or Tiger Woods, the game is okay, not fascinating, not terrible, just okay. Pangya is arcade golf, and it's similar to everybody's golf in gameplay and in quality. 
It even has something that everybody's golf doesn't have. A story. Yup, this game doesn't have only exhibition, challenges and tournaments, it has a plot too. And not just a plot in the sense of just a cutscene that gives a purpose to all of the golfing, like in Pro Stroke Golf. No, in Pangya you get a plot with lots of dialogue lines. And the gameplay is arcadey and very enjoyable. You get all sorts of different customization options for the 15 characters in the game, also you can buy new clubs with different stats and even new balls that behave different when you throw them. The game is amazing. If you haven't played it yet, you definitely should. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.